Hey everyone, Aiden from Be In Touch here to give you guys a quick walkthrough of one of our newest features, and that is surveys. This feature is incredibly powerful at collecting data. You can use this to reach out to clients after a loan is closed for a post loan uh, follow up to see how you did and see if there's anything you can improve on. You could use this feature to simply collect testimonials to put on your website uh, and help you gain trust and sort of build that credibility. You can lose, use this to learn more about your borrowers to find out what they like or what they're interested in or what they you know, find important. And you can use that information in your marketing campaigns, or you can use it to study your team's performance and have an automated email go out after a loan is closed to see how everyone in your team is doing from the borrower's perspective. Okay, uh, this is an added feature. And to do that, you're gonna wanna come up into this top right corner and go into your module section to activate surveys if you do not have a module section associated with your account, just go ahead and get in touch with the account owner and they can add that for everyone on your team. Once it's activated, we're simply going to come over to the marketing tab. And then you'll see the last one on there is going to be surveys. Okay, um, pretty simple and straightforward here, guys. It's very much plug and play. So you're going to see if you had surveys already, there will be a list of everything you have created. If you haven't created a survey yet, this piece will be blank and you will just have a add new survey button. We will create a new one together today. So this title is just for you to keep it organized. As you can see, once you get to 5, 10, 15, 100 surveys, uh, you're going to want to be able to know which one's which and you'll select this when you add them into a campaign, which we'll see in a little bit here. So this one we're going to call post loan follow-up. We're just going to do a quick follow-up. This is probably the simplest one, just that you'd send out after a loan is closed to see how you performed um, and get some basic info so you can improve on your performance when you go loan to loan to loan. All right. Um, up here, you can choose between all of our templates. If you want to get a better look, you can come down and preview them one by one. Okay, well, let's go ahead and fill this out. So this is a description that people will see as soon as they uh, open up your survey. And so for this, we're going to say, please let us know how you did during your loan experience. Pretty straightforward. And then here's where we're going to add all of the queries on the survey um, so people can fill these out, put in the information, whatever. And these can be whatever you want, guys. There's some uh, different genres, different types of survey questions you can have on here. So I'll put one from each section so we can get a sense of what they look like and how they work. We'll start with this one here, the five star rating. And then here we'll ask, you know, your experience overall. Okay, and you'll see it just pops up there with five stars. They can click and sort of give you a rating in that way. And then this one, um, three stars is obviously the same thing, just one through three stars. And then here we'll do a uh, one through ten. How likely are you to recommend us to a friend? And then we'll have to give them a little context here. Equals very likely. Okay, and you'll see when we add that on there. They now have these little bubble ratings where they can give you a 1 through 10. And then we put the context up here so they know what 1 equals and what 10 equals. A 1 through 5 will be the same thing, um, just less, less bubbles. And then here, the next option is drop down. Um, so this is where you put your question. So for example, if this was to see uh, how each team member did after a loan was closed, we could have a question like, who was your loan officer? And then here we would list our different John, we got Jane, we got Jim, we got Janice. Okay, and then you'll see you put one on each line and that will show up in the order that you place them, one on each line in the drop down menu. Pretty straightforward. And then finally we have a comment section. Um, so this we would put
Anything else you'd like to add? And then you'll see that just gives a text query box where people can type in uh, long form answers. And then this last little piece, you can select if you want to receive a notification by email anytime that someone does fill out one of your surveys. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and save that. Boom. And you'll see it shows up right here. It'll be each new survey will be at the bottom. You'll see there's zero reports on it. And uh, that's pretty simple. Plug and play, guys, how you create a survey. Next, let's go ahead and I want to show you how you can now add that survey into one of your marketing campaigns that can go out right after a loan is closed. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our marketing tab. It'll bring us to campaigns here. And I went ahead and created a campaign for this post loan follow up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into here. So this is just an email uh, subject line. Let us know how we did. Okay. And then I put a meta tag up here, which will automatically populate the person's name this is sending it to to add that nice personalized touch. And then we have congratulations on being one step closer to your home. I just wanted to follow up with you now that your loan is closed and see if you'd be willing to fill out this very quick survey to let us know how we did. We never want to stop improving and a few quick responses will be so helpful in making sure our borrowers feel welcome and taken care of. Thank you. And then the surveys here. So the, how we add this survey onto the email, as you can see up in the editor here, all these icons. And the last one there says insert survey. So we'll go ahead and see the last one is the one we did. It's as simple as that. Click insert survey. As you can see, I want to make this text a little bit bigger. So it matches. And there you go. So it, it works the same way as the meta tag we put up to insert people's names. This just tells the Be In Touch system that we're going to insert this particular survey into the email when it goes out. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and update that. Okay. So you can set this. I put this on a two-day interval, so it'll go out two days after a loan is closed. But I already sent one to myself, so we'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. All right. So here's the email that we just put together that your borrowers receive after a loan has closed. And you know, same message, and you can see here from the meta tag that it popped in the link to our survey right there that they will just click on. And then you can see all of our questions are here. How is your overall experience? We give you guys five stars. How likely you recommend this to a friend? We give you a nine. Who is your loan officer? It was Jim. And then Jim was very helpful and had a great smile. Simple as that. So we have the template we chose. We have our contact info down here. And then we'll submit the response. Okay. So from a borrower standpoint, that's all that they see. They get that little short thing. And then we get a ton of information from that. As you can see, we'll now come back into our surveys tab and we'll take a look at how the responses look when they come in after a survey is filled out. Okay, so we're back in marketing here, and then we're going to click on surveys. And remember, the last one we did was the bottom. We have this post loan follow up here, and you can see after that first response, we have, we can generate a report based on all of our responses. Okay, and this will give us a really cool breakdown, you guys, of all of the different answers that we. Uh, asked and all the information that we've got laid out really simply okay so you can see we've got one total answer we got one today one this month one this year and as you really start to use these these numbers will start to get larger and convey a lot more information to you so you can see the first piece is broken down how is your overall experience and it'll be laid out by percentages of how many responses you've got for each star value so you can really get a quick overview sense of how you did just from those questions alone and then we also have it here. It'll be plotted out on a bar graph for you. Next question, you can see each one has a different color that you can turn on and off. Okay. And then you'll get the data here. We've got one nine so far laid out again in a bar graph. And then you can see it'll even create a pie chart that'll show you how many loans are being closed or how many surveys are being 
responded to by each person on your team. You can see our gym responses right there that we gave. And then finally, you'll see the comments sort of down here at the bottom that you can cycle through as you get more and more. Uh, you know, Jim was very helpful and had a great smile. It'll all appear there. Okay, so there it is, guys. That's how you create a survey. That's how you will add a survey to one of your campaigns. That's a quick look at what your borrowers will see when a survey comes to their email. And then that's how you can also see the data, the analytics, and the information collected from the surveys that you create. I hope that was super helpful for you guys. Please get in touch with us if you have any more questions, and have a great rest of your day.